All right, something happened yesterday that was insanely scary, and I don't know if I'm being a little over dramatic, but I spent about five minutes thinking that I was going to die. It was prob top five terrifying moments of my life. <laughs> so here's the story. I come home about seven o'clock, and mom and dad weren't here, and I'm, you know, living in this thing at the moment. And uh, I go in to take a shower real quick before I went down to Farmer's Fair. And I just kind of go into the bathroom real quick, turn up, just went straight for the shower, turned it on, letting the water warm up. I get undressed. Um, I noticed the bathroom was a little different, but I just thought Mom had been cleaning and that things were still askew. <clears throat> I uh, hop in the shower. I lather up, and right about that time, I noticed I'm going... I can't breathe. I mean, I cannot breathe. So I start freaking out. I stick my head back under the shower and I get as much soap off as possible and I open the shower curtain. I glance down and there was a bug bomb that had been let off about an hour or so before. Didn't smell it, nothing. But I guess when the hot water, when the vapors started going up, it activated something. It got deep in my lungs and I could not breathe. And I mean, could not breathe. So here's where it gets ridiculous. <laughs> Scary but hilarious. I come I come running out here completely naked. I'm running for my life at this point in time. And, I, and I'm at this point in time I'm walking through this area trying to get to here. And I'm at this point in time my lungs, my voice started making a sound that I didn't I didn't even know I could make and it basically it was a very very loud <laughs> Unvoluntary could not stop it could not stop it and it was way more high-pitched than that and way louder So I then realized that the neighbors can hear <laughs> and Obviously if I heard something like this over and over and over and over again I would go to help or find out what's going on. I'm start naked suffocating completely <laughs> I mean dude I thought I was dying this went for right around 10 minutes and I know this for a fact I got, there was something that happened that I looked at the clock for 10 minutes I fought for my life I, I, I'm not joking I, I about five minutes in I got scared I got really really scared and I sat here on the stoop keep in mind I was starting I was naked <laughs> and I started getting thoughts in my head of they're gonna find me dead and naked in a camper. <laughs> and so I crawled to the back of the camper and found a pair of shorts to put on. And then laid in front of a fan, trying to get the fan to inject air into my lungs. <laughs> and, and I'm telling you, I was terrified. Freaking scared, man. Really, really scared. But as soon as it was over, I couldn't stop laughing. I could not stop laughing. It was so ridiculous. I mean, my 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 elderly mother bug bombed me <laughs> to the point that, I, that I'm running around their front yard, stark naked, going. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I could. I, I almost wish somebody would have caught me because. It, it would have burned into their brain for the rest of eternity. <laughs> oh, it's one of those things I'm glad I can laugh about it. But I'm, honestly, there's a part of me that I'm I'm glad I'm still here because it it scared me. It scared me bad. So uh, I'm a little hoarse today, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know. Life goes on. Uh, I noticed though that my breath now smells a lot less like fleas. So, <laughs> have a laugh on that one.